What's up guys, ClutchFan37 here, I'm going to show you uh, two of the three Nike Legacy heads I got from the Lax.com deal today, as well as uh, talk to you about the pockets I put in them. So first one is this red one, uh, they only had red and blue, so I snagged three red ones that were 20 bucks a piece, uh, so I figured why not for a decent lacrosse head, and I actually really like the way they string it, if you string it right. But anyway, the first one is an Iroquois top string. Um, if you look closely, you can kind of notice I do mine a bit differently than the uh, average bear. So instead of like going straight up and down, uh, I come to the side. And then when I go through here, I go through the top part of the mesh, kind of similar to a uh, triangle top string you do uh, when you're doing the uh, actual triangle part. So what I feel that does is it gives more tension and it keeps it from slacking a lot more. So like with use, the ear quite top string and string itself naturally will start to slack out. But if you do this and you uh, keep it tight, the first three or four uh, diamonds down here, it's going to keep the top the tightest it can be. Um, shooting string wise just has one nylon in it because you don't really need a shooting string uh, this is mesa mesh so it's wax mesh it already has really good hold especially with the pocket and the uh, pull down as well as a channel and um, for being so shallow it's actually got a good amount of whip uh, just from the style of uh, stringing I did on it so there's that one um, I'll do a tutorial on how I do my Iroquois top string here shortly uh, maybe in a different head um, so yeah there's that if anyone wants the pattern just let me know I'll post in the description and then last, or I guess the segment of the third one, is the uh, Cody Jameson replica. So it's got his top string up top, uh, the nylon straight, 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 and a U. That's kind of confusing to say, I'm not used to saying that. Um, solid mid pocket. Um, I adjusted the pattern to how I like my stick strung. Um, so I made it a little bit lower of a pocket than, uh, his is right about here in the head. I put mine a little lower, just because I like to cradle one-handed. Uh, surprisingly it doesn't have too much whip, but of course with all these shooting strings you can adjust it super easily. Uh, I'm definitely going to take this stick with me to Canada when I go. Uh, I'm going to play box across there for a couple weeks. Uh, so this would be pretty sweet to have up there. Uh, I'll post a pattern in the description if enough people want it. And the last one is a pita pocket I'm working on. Uh, right now I'm just kind of setting the pocket, breaking it in, and uh, adjusting the shooting strings and whatnot. So I'll show you guys when I'm done. Um, so that's pretty much it. I may. No, never mind. I was going to say I might sell one of them, but I don't think so. Uh, if anyone really is really interested in it, I'll probably sell one or two. Uh, just let me know in the comments if you're interested. But anyway, guys, go check out maysmesh.bigcartel.com. I got some shafts and heads for sale, including the uh, X6, a new clutch X I died, which is this. So it's a quadrant die, so it's Carolina and, or no, Carolina and pink. And down here is Carolina and down here is pink. Uh, it's got a digital camo theme to it. You can kind of see you got the stickers from Throne of String. Um, that's on sale, or that's for sale on the website. It came out super nice, just, I don't know. I can't go back to the clutch for some reason. I always got to stick with the Evos and whatnot. So, there you go, guys. Go check it out, maysmesh.biggerantel.com. I'll post a link down in the description. I got plenty of stuff for sale. Uh, got more mesh coming on the way, so I'll be uh, airbrushing that for you guys and making some sweet designs. Um, yeah.